back at it, the Devil RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. For you first time viewers, thank you for your time and support. You know, I do appreciate you clicking on to something you don't know what the fuck it is, but here it is, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. What a brief rundown of what this show is about. We cover one through fifteen. We we, we try I try my best, you know, I'm busy at work, but we cover one through fifteen. Along the way, they the little belts they pick up. That's why, if you go back and you watch, for you first time viewers, if you go back and watch the prediction of this fight, Terrence Crawford and Igis, I, I predicted, uh, Igis was going to knock down Terrence Crawford. We said it, and and after that, and after the knockdown, we said, uh, Terrence Crawford's going to get up and beat his ass. I said a ninth, eleventh uh, round stoppage. It was a ninth round, and the reason why, you know, we broke the fight down and it almost went to a teak. I said it was gonna be Terrence Crawford was gonna fight this dude. He was gonna go at him, and everyone was surprised. Oh, everyone's like, oh, Terrence Crawford got humiliated, so he's going hard at him. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. Like I said. We discussed it, and we said the fact that everyone was shitting on this fight so hard. You know, Terrence Crawford needed... Terrence Crawford could have easily outboxed Igis. He could have stayed on the outside and just outboxed the shit out of him. All night, easy. You know? He got caught because he was trying to engage. Like we discussed, he would engage. To make this shit fight that no one wanted to see... Memorable, something to talk about, exciting. Now we're talking about that fight. Oh shit, man! Terence Crawford got dropped. Oh, Spencer, fuck him up. Porter, fuck him up. We're talking about Crawford. If if he would have just boxed his ears off, it'd be like, oh, it's Crawford's fighting bums. Now it's controversy. Now it's that talk on the ready, ready talk box. Oh, it's, it's Crawford. Oh, does he flaws? He he could be beaten. You know what I mean? But okay, we broke it all down. Crawford, we, we said in the first four rounds, he was going to fill him out, and then he's going to beat his ass. And within those first four rounds, as he was filling him out, he was going to get dropped. That's what we said on the prediction. Go back, check it out if you're a first-time viewer. And sure enough, it wound out that way. Set up 11th round stoppage, ninth round stoppage. And again, he purposely fought him like that so he could be talked about, so the fight could be talked about. There's really not, nothing else. It, it, it's no flaws. It's nothing bad to say about Terrence Crawford. You got to remember the dude is a, a a smaller, what was he, 130 in the beginning? 130? So he's went up 17 pounds in his career. He's 32 or something like that. You know, so he, he's about four more, four more solid years perhaps. You know, he hasn't taken too much punishment, but you know the fact that he's not fighting exciting fights his career is slowly disappearing before us we know he's talented and we saw it we saw he he just he just took the will from Igis you know and I feel sorry for Igis cause everything I got everything I wanted to see in this fight Igis gave it to me but I feel sorry for Igis cause the blueprints out. One, he can't handle movers. Ray Robinson showed us that. But you push him backwards in body shots, it's like he's not even a number one contender. He's he's he, he gassed out bad from those body shots. Got pushed backs. Terrence Crawford was able to hold him and push him back. You know what I mean? And and looking at the build of those fighters, you would never think that Terrence Crawford could just manhandle Igis around. But body shots, body shots, body shots, you know. Now, what can Crawford do from here? Obviously, the Porter fight is just talk. And it's only going to be seriously Crawford's future without mandatory Excuse me. Without mandatory, his next fight is a voluntary. 
and you can just basically scratch off any PBC fighter just just for the argument's sake, just for the ready ready talk boxing sake, you know, talk that boxing right here on the Double RT Boxing Show with me, your host Mr. A, home for us boxing junkies. If you're liking what you see, go on, sign in at the front desk of the boxing rehab. Who else is going to fight? A voluntary defense? They're saying Kell Brook's going to come back. That fight was always talked about. It's a name. Uh, like I said, Crawford needs a names. Just for the sake of pound for pound conversation. Yeah, he's good, but if he's not fighting names, we don't care. It's going to be like, is he really pound for pound? And what's looking for Terrence Crawford is 140. You know, not him going down to 140, but 140's coming up. You got Ramirez, Regis, top ranked fighters. You know what I mean? Who, who else? Who else is out there for Crawford? Yeah, I, I don't got access to it. I, my phone's over there. I don't feel like getting it. Um, 147. I can't think of. You got Best Butin. You know, that's a natural top rank 147. With the movement, you know, I thought I thought Igis would give the shot of power to test Crawford. Best Butin might make moves, might make a move, but he get he gasses out worse than um Igis. Well no, I won't say worse. Worse than, but he gasses out as well. So it's tough for Crawford because I don't see nothing wrong with his performance. He purposely did that, put himself in the line of fire. You get hit when you're in the line of fire. It's going to be just a feature of 140s for him coming up until he gets, until Wilder and Fury happens. You can't even talk Spence because where the fuck is Spence? You know what I mean? So you can't even say the name. Porter, I don't see him fighting Porter. I just don't see him. Cause that's like this second highest PBC wall to it right now, if not first. They might throw someone like Ugas at him. Uh, I don't see a Danny Garcia unless it's really good money. Omar Figueroa. Um, Josecito Lopez. For that, if Thurman comes back, maybe. I don't know. But like I said, it's it's going to be one top rank 140s. You know, I, it, it was a knockdown. Can't, like, it was a knockdown in that third round. I thought he was trying to host tumble down, but you can see Igus kind of did an arm show, so maybe, but I, I think it was a knockdown. But over, besides that, like we st- talked about the prediction, he's going to get up and beat the shit out of Igus, and that's exactly what happened. Nothing nothing even questioned about this performance. Crawford just went in there, fought reckless, uh, got timed when you are when you fight in a line of fire, your shit happens. The Double RT Boxing Show. Terrence Crawford. Is he still pound for pound? Who, who takes it? Sure in the hell ain't a monster. You know. Some people give it to Canelo. Like I said. If you're a first time viewer on the Double RT Boxing Show. The way we do three. The way we do pound for pound is. We do a three year. You know. We, we don't do the whole resume. Your whole eyeball test. It's, eyeball test is part of it, but it's what have you done in a three year? We, we're, we're not grading your whole fucking career. Three years, you know, that's six fights for the average big elite fighter. Some people, that's fucking almost like nine fights. But three years, what have you done? Is Crawford pound for pound in the last three years? Is it Canelo? But Canelo's tainted with the fucking a lot of shit. Asterix is on some victories. It's a whole, that's a whole other conversation, but Crawford, like I said, he purposely put himself in this type of fight, so I, I see nothing wrong with him getting hit like that. The Double RT Boxing Show, thank you for your time and support. Follow the show on Twitter at RRTB Show, at RRTB Show. Right now, there's a poll up for more for the boxing junkies. Go up on there. Who do you got? David Anavesian or Josh Kelly for the EBU showdown that's going to happen? Or click the third title. Who cares? Like I said, it's more for a box and junkies. Not too many people are taking part of the toll. I understand. But that's what the Double RT Boxing Show is about. You look at that poll. David Anavassian or Josh Kelly. You get a gist of what the show is about. Thank you for your time and support.